name is Mike Rilla from Tracy Rifle and Pistol, and welcome to this week's tech video. This week, we'll be covering our AR-15 triggers and how they work. A lot of people who have purchased AR-15s recently, especially those used to the bolt action, have complained about the trigger on an AR-15. To understand the differences between the triggers, we have to understand how they work. A typical trigger like this Remington 700 trigger is actually very simple. Its only job is to drop the sear right here just enough for the firing pin to go forward. That's why it's easy to make a 700 trigger like this a nice, light, crisp platform. An AR-15 trigger on the other hand is a little bit more complicated. They're made up of three main parts. We have the trigger itself, we have the disconnector, and the hammer. These each have their individual springs as well. These additional parts are required because of the semi-automatic nature of an AR-15. This is the AR-15 trigger group assembled outside of the lower receiver as it would typically sit on the inside. When you pull the trigger on an AR-15, the hammer falls forward. It hits the firing pin, which hits the primer, and sends the bullet down range. At the same time, the bolt carrier is actually moving backwards to reset the trigger. It pushes the hammer back just far enough for the disconnector to grab it on the front end. It can do that because of the spring behind the disconnector. As you let off of the trigger, the disconnector actually lets go of the hammer, and the trigger grabs it at the very bottom there. This starts the whole process all over again. That action happens every time you pull the trigger. Some people are able to get a little bit lighter, a little bit crisper trigger pull by polishing the factory components. I highly discourage this because it is very easy to take off too much material and create a safety and reliability problem. If you take too much meat off of the disconnector, you can actually create a runaway gun, which is very dangerous. Next week, I'll go over a couple of my favorite AR-15 triggers and how they work. As always, thanks for watching. Subscribe here. Check us out at facebook.com slash tracyrap. And if you value your gun rights, check out firearmspolicy.org.